Good morning, everyone. We are back in the bedroom. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I know ours was absolutely fabulous because we managed to sleep in our new bedroom. So we got some good sleep. Now, I wanted to show you around the new bedroom. It's not complete. The inside walls are not up. But we put up a clothes bar there by there's the door so that's our shirts and stuff hanging up we've got jackets hanging up I've got a makeshift desk until I can make a better one I've got all my books up above the window we put a shelf up there and we did start some wall boards just so that we could lean against the wall without leaning on the plastic we have another shelf up here, which we are storing clothes on right now. And our bed. That's all on our side. Now, for Mikey's side of the room, lucky him, we've been carrying his dresser around with us since he was born. So this is the dresser that I painted for Mikey 10 years ago. So, Mikey has his dresser, which he's terrible at closing the drawers on. He's got his TV and Xbox, his desk, and he is working on schoolwork right now, his bed, and we put this rack in here for him with his books and all of his toys, and we have a little camping toilet because we don't want Mikey to have to go outside and into the Winnie in the middle of the night. So we are going to build a wall around this little portable toilet. It's just a camping toilet. You just take it out and you dump it in the sewer or whatever. It's just for going pee. So Mikey can do that in the middle of the night. No problem. We're going to put up a wall around that with some doors or a door. We're also going to have a wall down the middle of the bedroom so that we have privacy and Mikey doesn't have to listen to our TV at night when he's trying to go to sleep. But it is fabulous to have it done to this point to where we can sleep in here. Um, just having a little bit of room after being in the Winnebago for the last, let's see, eight years. It's really nice to have a little bit of room to actually spread out a little bit. It, it, I enjoyed living in the RV. I enjoyed the traveling. But... After a while, you just want to spread out a little bit. You get tired of cramming everything into every little spot that you can find. I don't know exactly what we're going to be working on today because, to be honest, I've been a little nauseous for the last three days or so. So I'm not really in the mood to get up and go and go to work. But there are some things that I want to go over in today's video. I have made a list of everything that we've purchased to build this bedroom. And I also went through and added up what it would have cost us to buy all of the lumber to build it. So we're going to go over that at the end of the video. And one other thing that I wanted to mention while we were in the bedroom and I was thinking about it was there was a comment that was made, but it was removed by the commenter. He had asked about the electricity. But something I do want to show you now, I've put a breaker box in here. I don't know that this is up to code because it's so close to the floor. I could not find code on how high up it needed to be. But this has one 30 amp breaker in it. And this breaker box is actually connected to an RV cord so that we can plug it into a 30 amp RV outlet. So when this bedroom gets moved, we can plug it in to a 30 amp RV outlet. We also had a comment, somebody had asked, we have a fly. <laughs> somebody had asked about why we were building the bedroom and why we don't connect all the buildings. And for anybody that's watched a lot of our videos, you would already know, but for the newcomers, these buildings are not staying as what they are. We have this building, which is the bedroom. We have a building, which is the kitchen. And we have a small building, which is Ocean's bedroom. 
But in time, these have different uses. This building here will be brought up to the orchard and it will be a garden shed. The kitchen will become my hatchery for hatching all of my birds and Ocean's bedroom will probably be a storage shed. Now, when this is going to happen, I can't tell you. We do have a plan to build a house. Since we're living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck on a fixed income, we're on social security. That's something that we're gonna save up for. And so it's gonna take time. That's where we're at. That's why the buildings are the way they are and our plans for the future. Okay, there's a couple of pieces of trim that need to be put on the end of the bedroom and I'd like to get that done if we can. So let's go see what Eddie's doing and see if we can do that. So as you can see, we haven't finished the outside yet. We still have to trim around the windows on our side of the bedroom. We haven't done these windows down here either. We still have to trim the plastic that's hanging below it. Um, now see, we did put the fascia boards up here, but these are the ones we're working on today. This end here needs the fascia up here and one across the middle. We were going to leave this, we were going to leave the peaks open to allow more sunlight, but we decided against it. That's why the siding is in two pieces. So we're just going to put a one by five across the seam here to cover that so that's what we did on the other ones and i like it and there's the front did the same thing up there we put a one by four up there just because it was shorter with the little windows in there and here is where our power cord comes out that's hooked to the back of the breaker box and it runs right over there and plugs into the 30 amp rv cord so that's where we're at we're gonna get we need a little piece right here we need to put a little piece of siding right here and we'll put that on before we do the top fascia boards put a piece here and then i'm hoping after we get those fascia boards up we're gonna put some corner trim on get mikey's christmas present out of the way Got a backboard. <clears throat> See, I went off the wrong board. All right, 90 and three quarter. Hang on, I set my pencil over here. Need to rip that down to two and a half. So we're set two and a half. Let's do this. to cut the short side still. I gotta go get the air compressor. 
Okay, let's see. We want to go just like this. Oh. Should be, let's see, right there. Uh, if we did that right, it'll fit up against the roof nicely. Oh, we need to plane this down. Gonna be a different color because I painted the rest of the bedroom with some sealer. Okay, I need to cut my two by eights at 26 and a half, 5, 26 and a half. Got a lot of weighing on it, but that's okay. <clears throat> Oi. Now, 72. Twenty five, twenty six and a half. I think that looks right. <laughs> Missed it. Is that exactly where it belongs? Oh, I'm on the line. That's all I can give you. All right, take it down. All right, let's grab your nail gun. Right there. Holy cow, these are heavy.
Up. <laughs> oh. You sure? Yeah. You're up all the way up yeah, against I'm up it. Against the board. All right, nail it. You got everything if you can get it. Just don't nail the back of my head. All right, let go. can't really see it on camera but you sure can see those those um, shadows from the trees behind us I like it it looks good all right guys I know we didn't get anything done today we got up the end trim and the corner trim on this one end as I said I'm not feeling too good just been nauseous for a while and just not into it today I wanted to get a video out for you guys and try to get some of this trim done, but it's just not working for me today. So anyways, I told you we would go over the price of this building at the end of the video. So here we are. I'm sorry most of this video was talking. I'll try to do better next time. <laughs> so going over what we spent on the bedroom. The roof cost us $350, and we went and picked it up ourselves. If we'd had it delivered, it would have been another $50. The plastic that we used on the floor and the walls and the, and the roof, that was $77. The nails for the entire thing cost us about $75, but we have a lot of nails left. Um, the windows, we paid $75 for. As far as we can remember, it might have been different, a little bit different than that, but uh, the door, the front door that we bought, that was about $100. The insulation was the most expensive. It was $808, and this is without tax. And the miscellaneous hardware for the hinges and the doorknob and a box of screws was about $50. And one thing I forgot to add in was the electric. Tiny. Sorry, Tiny's trying to attack my turkeys. What is the matter with you? Come up here. Okay, so all of the electric stuff, I didn't look it up. I'm just going to estimate. I know most of the prices of everything. But for the breaker box and the breaker, the Romex, the outlets, the outlet boxes, the light boxes, all of that, I'm going to say it was about $200. So all together, for us to build this bedroom, it cost us $1,735, or right around there. Now, 
that's a pretty good deal to get yeah. the bedroom for seventeen hundred dollars. I don't think you could buy one on a lot for that. Now, if we had had to buy the lumber, I sat down this morning on HomeDepot.com and I looked up the price of all of the lumber for everything that we actually used so far, or that it includes the battens that we've cut. The only thing it doesn't include, it doesn't include any inside walls. I did not include that because we haven't actually put them up yet. So what it would have cost us for lumber, get ready for this number, $3,131 before taxes. So that's over $3,000 that we saved by milling our own lumber. Okay, well, did we actually save that money? Well, we spent pretty close to $3,000 for our mill when it was all said and done, right? Mm -hmm. Right at. So you could say this bedroom paid off the mill. Well, we also built Ocean's bedroom out of all lumber that we milled on that sawmill. So if our bedroom paid it off, then his bedroom was free. We have plans to build more buildings using this sawmill. I need a shop and Eddie needs a shop. I'm the woodworker, he's the metal worker. So we're gonna build two small, small-ish, 10 by 20. <laughs> He'll probably get a 10 by 20 and I'll get a 10 by 30. Just because I need to fit long boards into my shop. But that will all come out of the sawmill and our trees and any trees that we get for free. So the sawmill has definitely paid for itself. So all together, if you didn't have a sawmill, you didn't have the lumber, it would cost you $4,870 to build this bedroom. And we got it for $1,700. So I think it's a pretty, pretty good, good deal. deal. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. I think I'm gonna go in and lay down. Everybody, please continue to stay safe. That is the most important thing right now is just stay safe. Protect yourself, your loved ones, your children, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.